If you are visiting our channel for the first time, please subscribe first to get the basic and advanced maths concepts. Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn that how you can find the equation of parabola when you are given with the focus and directrix. So we have an example where we are given with the focus minus 3 and 1 and the directrix that is a line and the equation of the directrix is given here. So how we can find, uh, find uh, the equation of parabola? Let's see. As we have discussed in our previous lecture that by definition of parabola, we know that PF is equals to PM. We have already discussed the definition of the parabola. Uh, what is PF and what is PM? That is PF is distance between point, any point P, X, Y and focus. This is PF and what is PM? PM is distance between point P that is XY and line that is directrix. So it will be a perpendicular distance and it will be PM. PM. So PF and PM is uh, defined like this. By using this definition of parabola, we can find the equation of the parabola if we are given with the focus and the directrix. So one is the distance between two points and one is the distance between the point and the line. So First, we will find the distance between the two points that is PXY and the focus that is given in the question minus 3 and 1. So, we will use the distance formula for finding PF as PF is equals to under root. What are the two points? One point is PXY and the second point is this focus minus 3 and 1. It will be X plus 3 whole square plus Y minus 1 whole square. So this is by using the distance formula that is x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. So this will be pf. Now we have to find the distance between the point and the line by using the formula of length of perpendicular from a point p to the line. So I will write length of perpendicular from point pxy, pxy and what is the line to what is the line? Line is the directrix that is x minus 2y minus 3 x minus 2 by minus 3. So we have to use the formula that is uh, uh, for finding the, the length of the perpendicular from a point to the line. So let's find it as pm is equals to formula is ax plus by plus c divided by under root a square plus b square. So for finding the uh, distance between the uh, perpendicular distance from point P, point P to the line, we have to use this formula. Now we will put the values as we have to use this equation. What is the constant with the x? The constant with the x is uh, 1. So I will write 1 instead of a. So x will be as it is. What is the constant with y? We have minus 2 with the y. So I will replace b with minus 2. So minus 2y plus what is the constant at the end that is c. The constant at the end is minus 3 as if it is clear from this directrix equation. So the uh, c will be minus 3 and divided by under root a square plus b square is the constants of x and y. So the constant of x is 1. So 1 whole square plus the constant of, uh, uh, of y is minus 2. So minus 2 whole square. If we simplify it, we will get x minus 2y minus 3 divided by under root 5. So we have found pf and pm. Now we just need to equate them as in case of this by definition of parabola. We have to put pf and uh, the value of pf and pm here. So putting put pf and pm in equation 1. Equation 1 was pf is equals to pm. So what is pf under root? x plus 3 whole square plus y minus 1 whole square equals to what is pm. pm is x minus 2y minus 3 divided by under root 5. So in order to simplify it, we have to square on both sides as by taking the square, the square root will be cancelled out. So I will write here x plus 3 whole square plus y minus 1 whole square equals to x minus 2y minus 3 whole square divided by 5. 5 will move on the other side. So I'll write 5 into x plus 3 whole square plus y minus 1 whole square equals to x minus 2y minus 3 whole square. So let's simplify it further as by opening the formulas x square plus 9 plus 6x plus y square plus 1 minus 2y equals to x minus 2y. Simplify it as by multiplying it together two times for your simplicity. So let's multiply it. 
you will get 5x square plus t plus 30x plus 5y square minus 10y equals to x square minus 2xy minus 3x minus 2xy plus 4y square plus 6y minus 3x plus 6y plus 9. So, we will further simplify it as 5x square plus 5y square plus 30x minus 10y plus 50 equals to x square plus 4y square minus 4xy minus 6x plus 12y plus 9. So, we have moved the right hand side on the left hand side all the terms from right to left and we have got this equation. Now, we further simplify it as 4x square plus y square plus 36x minus 22y plus 41 plus 4xy equals to 0. So, this is the required equation of parabola when you are given with the directrix and the focus only. That's all from today's lecture. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates. Thank you.